we jump to the third part, just to split it up in small chunks. Um, namely, the more formal sort of writing out of what I call the decomposition. And the decomposition is basically what I shared with you in my initial example. This fact that you can decompose the information and the data into the two terms that I already defined to you, namely the group differences, we sometimes also call this the between group differences, sort of from group to group, the SSTR, that was where I took the three different group means and compared them with each other by comparing them with the overall average. So this is the between information, and then we have the within, we could within group information. That is the fluctuation, the variability within groups. I took that from each three groups and pulled it together in one number, the SSE number. Now, actually, there is, if, if I add these two up, I get what is here called the total variation. What is the total variation of data? Well, this is something we actually know from previous. The total variation in the data is just taking all individual data points, comparing directly with the raw average across everything, and adding all 12 numbers up. In this case, in the general notation, we, we summarize across all the groups. We summarize across individual observations within the groups. In our case, it's 12 numbers. Can you recognize this number? Or at least parts of this number? If you're going to say in different words, what is this compared to Y, something we have seen previously in the course? Very long time ago in the course. The first day of the course, almost the first, half of the first day of, I, I'm not sure about that, actually, in the middle of the first lecture of the course. I told you at the first lecture of the course, how do you compute a variance of a set of observation, right? This is simply, you could say, capital N minus 1 times the variance of y, right? This is just the variance of the observations. I should be a bit careful here with my notation. It's, a, it's the empirical variance. Ah, so then I should actually, let me, it's better to use this s notation, s y squared. This is a c empirical variation computed for the y's in this case. We only have y's, but I'll just emphasize. Um, and what do I mean? Capital N would then be the total number of observations across groups. In our case, capital N is 12 in the, in the toy example, right? So basically, it's just a variability across everything, right? And this total information, variability is the same as information. This splits uniquely into the two things, the group difference and the within group variability. The reason why we call it one way will be more clear when we have met the two way, obviously, in, in, in my second lecture, but I, I spell it out here also, is that we have only one sort of grouping factor. We could have more than one. We'll get back to that. And it's called, to repeat myself again, here it's written out, we call it analysis of variance because, the, really because of this one here, it's called analysis of variance. Or you could say also because of this one. Because both of those measures are basically variability measures, or sort of, it's a certain variance actually. So we, we compare the means by looking at two variances. That's, that's the deal here. We, we, we are focusing on the means, the three means. The way we compare them is by looking at variances. There are formulas. For the regression last time, I skipped the formulas. Um, I have focused on 
the defining formulas. I have given you the defining formulas for SSE, SS treatment, and SS total. I already showed you all of these three formulas previously. If you know two of them, you can compute the last one because you know they add up. So uh, if you are going to do hand cal calculations, and I'm not forcing you to do a lot of hand calculations in this course since it doesn't make very much sense to spend time on that, there are hand calculation formulas that can be used that looks like this. I'm not going to go through them. They are more easy to use and faster to use if you're going to do it by hand. I recommend to stick with R or anything else. And I'm not going to force you through a lot of hand calculation thing. Basically, here's the ANOVA. Ah, ANOVA. That's a new sort of abbreviation here. ANOVA, analysis of variance, right? Analysis of variance, ANOVA. We are going to collect all the information in the ANOVA table, which actually is going to be the output from the software. Any software you, you have that do such computations for you will spit out the results like this. So the results that I've actually gone through already are being spit out to you in such an analysis of variance table and ANOVA table that basically gives you the SSTR, the SSE, and sometimes, maybe not always, the total. Maybe it skips the total, since we, if we have the two others, we, we don't really need the total. It depends on the software. Um, and actually, it's going to be nice to you, and it's going to present a p-value also at the end of such a... So, that was the second part, actually. Could I count here? That was the third part. Now we're going to the fourth part, but nevertheless, the next...